Hello, my name is Matthew Doxeter, and I'm an Applications Engineer here at ATI Industrial Automation, specializing with our material removal tools. In our material removal department, we've been creating a lot of new tools recently. Uh, what we're going to focus on today in this video is the CRT. We'll be covering uh, what is the CRT, how does the CRT work, what are some unique features about the CRT, along with some design specs and some target applications for the CRT. So CRT is Compliant Reciprocating Tool. Uh, that means that it has radial compliance with a reciprocating motor. Uh, this is a pneumatic tool that is used with files and different types of abrasives like cartridge rolls. The applications that we would be using the CRT for are specifically for some sharp interior corners, areas where the long reach of a file would help, as well as narrow spaces that allow for the reciprocating motion to not induce chatter. So some unique features about the CRT is it has that reciprocating motion in comparison to the rotary style. The rotary burrs, as they get into narrow openings, uh, could bounce off the sides a little bit, or you may make contact with the other side depending on the uh, compliance or path. With a file type, with a, with a forward and back, uh, it allows you to reach into those narrow openings, but also, as you get into corners, uh, you eliminate chatter. When I talk about chatter, it means that on a rotary tool, that rotary burr is gonna get overloaded in the corners, and as it gets overloaded, uh, it's gonna be forced away from the part. The worst case, you're gonna damage the part or the burr, or your best case, you might have an undesirable finish on the part. But with the reciprocation motion, you're moving forward and backward, and you're never loading up the tool in a way that is forcing it away from the part, eliminating the chance of chatter. Like all of our tools, we have compliance built into this tool. It has uh, sort of like a joystick-like reciprocating motion, um, but it has the option to be uh, turned into a single axis lockout mode. What that single axis lockout is going to do is it allows you to change its compliance motion from a 360 degree more joystick-like motion to a 180 degree pendulum style. Eliminating that one degree of freedom uh, means that you're going to have a more precise tool center point. It eliminates the possibility of having the tool center point drag behind or trail the tool. This means that you will need to ensure that you're programming keeping the plane of compliance perpendicular to the path of the robot. The CRT is designed and works well in uh, finishing of many different manufacturing processes, whether it's uh, molded plastics, castings, uh, machined parts, anywhere where you have a narrow opening or possibly a, a deep recess that a rotary tool is not designed for, the CRT is going to be your, you know, your tool of choice to help tackle those types of applications. It has a five millimeter stroke uh, forward and back and operates at 12,000 strokes per minute. Uh, you provide 90 PSI to the air and like I said earlier, 15 to 60 PSI to the compliance air. Uh, it has a side mount and a rear mount uh, and you can mount it either straight up to the robot or you can pedestal mount it and have the robot bring the part to the tool. Uh, you can find more information on the CRT and our other tools uh, on our website at ati-ia.com and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.